Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to answer a question. Why do we have a diode on our aircraft relays? I mean, some aircraft have a lot of relays. We only have really two relays. But why do we have a diode on our relays? Well, let's investigate it and have some fun. We would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So if you go to the maintenance manual, you can find the diagram that will show you that we have a relay on the firewall stacked right above another relay. And there's a diode assembly that goes across the master relay. It's part number nine in the diagram and doesn't look like much in the diagram. But when you go to look it up, diode assembly, and there's a part number 540-2012-501. And then there's the actual fuse and the fuse holder where we're not going to be working about. And then there's another diode assembly located elsewhere on the aircraft. But when they give you a part number for the diode, they don't tell you what it is. Now that particular diode you just saw go by was a 1N4004. Now a diode simply prevents electricity from flowing in one direction. And diodes have a little marking on one side showing you which end goes towards the ground to prevent flow. And you have the data sheets on each of the diodes that tell you what the voltages are. You can even get to the mechanical section which talks about the size. And again, they're not very large. So you don't have to worry a whole lot about them. But they're worried about the peak intervals. And there's nothing magic about the resistors that we have in our airplanes which are the 1N112 again it's just a diode and what the diode basically does in functionality when it's across the positive and the negative of the relay when you turn it on no big deal but when the relay shuts down the relay works by being an electromagnet and it creates a magnetic field to pull the contacts in when it shuts down all that mac energy magnetic energy collapses into an electrical spark and cause a marking. So here we go looking inside of a master switch that's being turned on and off. You can see the arcing. That will eventually destroy the switch. So if you had a diode there, it would prevent the back EMF from happening and you wouldn't have that arcing. So let's take a look at the, di the same diode. Now let's put a, I'm sorry, the same switch. Now let's put a diode across the terminals. Notice there's no more arcing. So what that does, it will add to the longevity of the switch. If your diode goes out, you're never going to know, but you want to periodically check it. No way to look inside of a switch. So ladies and gentlemen, that answers the question of why do we have a diode on our relays to prevent that arcing. We hope you found it all useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman.